Good day, children. Today we are doing our penmanship lesson and we're using our double line exercise book once more. Now, you will notice that I have a red line running across my penmanship book at the top there. Yours wouldn't have it, but mine is there just to show you how to estimate the length of the capital letters when you are writing the date, okay? Because in the double line box, you have to estimate the height of the capital letters. Before, when you were in second year, you used the red line to start your capital letters. Now it's a little different. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. We're just going to use that red line as a marker. It's not in your book, but it's in my book because I want you to see how to estimate it or how, how tall you will draw your letters. Okay, so we are writing the date today. Today is Monday. Now let me get my pen, right? Get my pen, my, sorry, my pencil ready. We're not using pencils yet. Let's get the pencils ready. Now we go to the margin, which is this long red line here that you will have in your book, okay? And we are going to write Monday. So we go as close to the margin as possible. And we go straight down. Don't go any further, you stop right there. And then you do a slanting down, up, and down. So you've written the capital M, you see how tall my M is right there. Now let's do an O. Now you can write along with me. Have your penmanship books there. N. We're taking our time writing the date. You see how my N is fitting between those two lines? Right. Let's do the D. You can follow along. A. And Y. Now the tail of the Y is not going to touch this line here. Because you have to leave room for the other capital letters here to, S to get their length, their height. So let's do the Y and the tail is just going to stop right there. It's not going to go any further than that. You understand me? Okay, now let's write 20th. The numbers are also written between those two blue lines. Two and zero. And then we do a T, H goes all the way up. All right, let's write September now. Capital S from the top. E. P. Remember the Remember the Y, see where the Y is? The P has to stop there as well. T. U. M. Now my pencil is a little bit wobbly. B. And the ER. As long as you get the hang of it writing between the two blue lines, you can move a little faster. Now, let's put the comma. Two, zero, two, one. Full stop. Okay, so here we have the date. This is how it is written. Now, don't be too worried if you are not getting it exactly the way I'm writing it. This takes practice. And with doing it over and over, you will get it. Okay, so we've written the date. Now, let's write the word penmanship. Now, here, the capital P, we have to estimate its height. So we're not going to start from this blue line here. We're going to start a little way off and go down. 
back up, around and in. E, N, M, A, N, ship, let's write ship. Okay, the H, I, P. Okay, so here we have written pen and ship. You see how I estimated the capital P, the height of the capital P. I did not start on this second, this blue line here. I started a little way off. So you have to get into the habit of estimating where those capital letters are. The tall letters like the H, they don't go up here. They go a little way down. And the letters with the legs and the tails, you notice that I'm not letting them touch that line there. Okay? You have to learn to estimate those letters. And of course, the common letters fit between the double line. I don't want to see anybody writing like this. This is wrong. Okay, we don't want it like that. The P must go around and has his leg hanging down. I don't want to see you writing like this either. This letter is too small. It has to fit between those two. You see what I'm saying? This E is too small and it's not straight enough, but this E fits perfectly between the two blue lines. So I want you to practice that. Practice makes permanent. When you practice the right thing, you will permanently do the right thing. Okay? Very well. Now, today we're looking at the letters I N. H, S, and F. Last day we looked at L, sorry, we looked at T, M, A, D, O, C, and G. Today we'll be writing I, N, H, S, and F, right? So let's start off with the simplest one, the I, the common I. Again, we go to the margin underneath. Here's our margin. And we take our time, we start here, go down, curve it on a dot on top. Now my eye didn't come out too straight. We want to have everything nice and neat and straight. So let's do it again. We go down, keep that straight, bump it. I like to call that there, bump it, because this is where you join. When we start to join, we join from here. The dot on top, that's the eye. See how easy it is? Okay, now try it. Now let's do an N, another easy one. All we do, we leave a finger space right there. Remember, you learned about your finger spaces, right? So we go start from the top double line to the bottom double line. See how easy that is? Then we go up, around, come down, and we bump it. See, so see, we keep that between the two blue lines. The N is not sitting on top here, neither is it down here. Good. So the next letter we're doing is H. Now the H is what we call an ascender. A letter that's called an ascender means that it goes up in the air, like the D and the H and the B. The T is what we call a short ascender because it doesn't go all the way up. It only goes halfway up. So the H is the tall, tall ascender. And we have to estimate its height because there's no red line here for us to know where to start. So we make an estimation. We don't stick it up to this line here. We leave our finger space and we, and we go down. Come back up, around, down, bump it. That's the H. You see how it is? Right, it's almost like an N, just with an ascend on top. But we start from the top. So we have I, N, H. Let's write S. Now, this is easy. You see the S? 
except the capital S is tall, the common S sits between these two lines, the double line. So let's go around the bend the corner and out, keep it inside. You see how easy that is? Very nice. Let's do another one. Let's do F. Let's do the F. Okay, so we're going to leave a finger space and we go up, down, bend that corner and across. That's a fancy F. You see that? Let's do that again, especially. And we have to estimate again, right? So you don't go all the way up. Let's go. You go up, take your time, bend the corner, and hook it. Now we put the cross. Now remember, you can look at this video over and over again if you didn't get it. If there's no, I'm not going to say that you have to look at it only once. You can look at it over and over again just to get the hang of it. Because I remember what I said at the beginning, practice makes permanent. You can't just look at one video and say, okay, I know how to write. You have to practice all the time. All right, so let's do another line. Now you can do this with me. Let's do the eye. So we go down, bump it, and a dot on top. Don't worry if it's not coming out perfect. Don't fret yourself. Remember, you need to practice, okay? Let's do the end. Down, up, around, down, bump it. That's the end. Let's do an H. Estimate, down, up, around, down, bump it. What about the S? Keep it inside. Okay, let's do an F. Cross it. Now this tail is a little too close to this line. Did you notice that? So we have to do that over. We don't want the tail too close to this line here. We have to be careful with those letters that have the tails and the legs. And you notice I didn't start here because I would have bounced this tail here. So I go, uh, leave a little more room. And go up, around, down. Careful with that tail, all right. And across. Let's do it again. Okay. All right, so we today we did the letter I and H S F. I want you now to practice. You can continue to write these same letters because remember I told you, practice is very important. You can't learn it right away. Right, so I want you to practice to continue drawing more of the, writing more of the I and H S in your penmanship. Okay, children, that was well done.